Hi, my name is Leo Donnelly. I'm a principal lecturer in anatomy at the new Three Counties Medical School, which is housed in the Elizabeth Garrett Anderson building behind me and is part of the University of Worcester. Today is an open day and we'll be showing prospective students around the building and elements of the medical course. Today, as part of the tour, we'll be showing the anatomy suite with the highly detailed anatomical models and some medical imaging and some histology and uh, computer apps that will be used on the course. Before the session, we'll have a short tour of the building. Uh, let's have a look inside. Walking through reception brings us into the open plan Kildare Atrium. Uh, the, the building is a repurposed print works and is very light and airy as you can see. There is a cafe for the use of students and members of the general public and there's also workstations that you can see behind me. Here we are in one of the teaching rooms which are very versatile and on this occasion it's been reconfigured as a hospital ward with very lifelike models and in this environment students will be taught clinical skills by clinicians and the models will be assigned particular pathologies which can be assessed by the students in a very safe environment. This is one of our smaller rooms which will be used for problem-based learning or PBL and normally eight students would be sitting around a table given a case and they would work through the, um, the details of that case as part of their learning. On this occasion it's been reconfigured as a GP surgery and there are occasions when students will play act a general practitioner with a simulated patient and attempt diagnosis and the process will be filmed so that students can review their own progress. The main thrust of the medicine course is problem-based learning, small group self-directed learning, and there will be little use of classrooms like this. However, there are many other courses being taught in the building, such as nursing, physiotherapy, sports therapy, occupational therapy, uh, physician associates, and there is a, a strong ethos of a multidisciplinary approach to, to the course. So I hope you enjoyed that brief tour of the building. We're now in the anatomy suite where the bulk of anatomy teaching will be carried out. We're about to embark on a teaching session, which I hope you enjoy. Okay, what we've got set up here, you might be interested to know, is, is how the anatomy is going to be assessed, which is a, um, a spotter exam. Generations of medical students pale <laughs> when you mention the spotter exam. This, this is just a small one that we set up to test. Uh, uh, again, it'll be using iPads. You'll have questions in front of you. You'll have uh, what are called uh, VSAQs, very short answer questions. So it's not multiple choice, because that's not always the best way of assessing. You have to write down the particular structure that's, uh, that's been pinned on the models. Um, and there will be more than this. The, the, usually about, I think we're going to have 30 questions and you will have this um, summatively, probably twice a year. I think that's the, 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 the current idea. And, um, and that there's a pass mark to be achieved with that. Um, we won't assess you on anything that you haven't been taught. You'll be placed here. So uh, the, there's that. Uh, you will have exposure to the, to the anatomy and then later on there will, there will be an assessment of that. Um, feel free to come and uh, play with the models. Um, uh, they're, they're fairly robust, but you be, be quite careful with them. They, you'll be the first people to actually touch many of these. They're, 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 we've got more in the cabinets if, if you're particularly interested in, in any aspect of anatomy. Um, we've got some really nice model eyes if anybody's interested in that. So anyway, come in, come in and have a, have a play. Unlike other graduate ed courses that I've been involved with, uh, the anatomy, which I'm particularly interested in, will be spread over the first two years of okay. the four-year course. Other courses, they do it all in one year, which, which is incredibly intensive. And uh, I'm, I'm quite pleased that there is that sort of um, yeah. spreading it out over uh, two years at least. Um, the way that we teach it is going to be non-didactic, if you know what I mean by that. It means you're not going to have situations where I mean, there are sort of classrooms in this building. We're not going to use those. Okay. We're not, there's not going to be me at a screen talking to you and you taking notes. Okay. Not going to happen. The way it's going to happen is you'll be given preparatory material. There'll be little videos and things like that. And there's an expectation that you will look at those and, and, and do not exactly homework after the event, but, but familiarize yourself with, with a lot of the um, 
the terminology and uh, the, the anatomy before you come into the session. And then you come in here and it'll actually be quite fun. There'll be activities like this one over here if you want to come over. Importantly, I'm not going to be here saying, OK, here's the sternal uh, clavicular joint, here's the glenoid fossa, here's the acronym process. It's you and your compadres working on it like that. Or I'll only get involved if you're struggling. So, okay, yeah, you've tried a couple of times, you just keep getting it wrong. I don't understand where these things are. I'll come along with a model and say, okay, here's a quick mini teach. Okay. Now go and have another go like that. Yeah. So the point is you take ownership of the learning. It's not me telling you, it's you learning yourself and yeah. teaching yourself in effect. It's well known that this works better. There's better retention of knowledge if you're doing that sort of thing. Yeah. No, it'll be clinical from the outset. There's, um, there's an old model of teaching medicine where the, uh, you would have uh, two preclinical years and three clinical years. Um, there's not many places do that anymore. It's much more blended. So, uh, and here you, you'll be in a GP surgery within the first few weeks, actually interacting with patients. You know, um, back in the day, you wouldn't see a patient in three third year. And that, that's not so common nowadays. It's, it's much more. And so the, the screen over there, we're teaching up a limb. It's all about fractures. Uh, so that there's immediately, it's, it's not just the basic anatomy, it's also the, the clinically applied anatomy as well. And that'll be from the outset. Uh, so it's a sort of blended approach to anatomy. Formal anatomy teaching will happen in the first two years. Um, and then there'll, there'll be the option in the third years of coming back and revising in here if, if there needs to be. Um, the, the plan is for our, um, the license for the computer that we have. Uh, will be uh, over the whole four years, you'll have access to, to that, which is, which is a, a huge resource and a very comprehensive, more information than, than any medical student needs. So it's like the whole of in, in one app. Well, we're using this histology guide site, uh, which we have permission to use now, and it's, uh, it's fantastically good quality microscope slides as well, which you don't. Places I've worked at, that there's been some variation in, you know, some good, some bad yeah. um, slides. These are all universally good. So, um, do you know what's happening? Yeah, so, you've got the, the rods and cones are actually at the back of the retina. Okay. Everything's back to front. It's really weird. So, you've got various entities. I'll, I'll try to turn them. See if we can turn them back. Wow. Right. So, the acuity is pretty good with this. Um, so, this is the whole. Stop it. Come on. Stay. The whole depth of the retina, and your rods and cones are here. Okay. These will be rods here, I think. So you've got various layers. So you've got uh, bipolar cells and endocrine cells and, uh, and your retinal ganglion cells, which are the nerves that are actually going to run to the brain. They're, they're here. Okay. And their axons are actually running on the surface here. They're going to run down and then into the optic nerve. Mm -hmm. The weirdness is that light, incident light, is going through the whole eyeball through all these layers of cells to get to the photoreceptors at the back. It's completely back front. Yeah. An octopus and squid and all cephalopods, they have the other way around. They have all the photoreceptors at the front and all the wiring at the back. Wow. Which is much more sensible. Mm. Thanks for watching the video. I look forward to seeing you in the future.